Forgive the handheld camera, but I wanted to show how I set the lathe up for testing the run out. I know a lot of people are going to cringe and this is not the right way to do it, but it's it's the best that I can do. I'm not a machinist, I'm a woodworker, so I'm making the most of what I have. And I figured honestly, probably one of the most uh, accurate things, precise things I have is are these uh, Forstner bits. So some of the run out that's going to be measured is no doubt going to be part of the Forstner bit itself. But what I've done is I've chucked up my largest Forstner bit into this Nova G3 chuck. I've put a mark here at the top and there is also a mark here. And I place the dial indicator on that mark each time. I reset up for the test and I start the test from that same mark so that I can be as consistent as possible in the test. And the little dot up here is just a visual indicator for me that uh, you know this mark here is pretty close to lined up. And then I rotate this back here by hand and probably even doing that introduces some amount of run out. You know, I found that on these lathes, they're they're wood lathes. They're not designed, they're not manufactured for the type of precision of a metal lathe. And and sometimes you can just simply you know, touching or wiggling this can can move the needle uh up here. So it is what it is. So, but mostly I wanted to address the issue of how much run out the plastic washers would introduce. And I think overall the amount of run out is pretty minimal. This plastic, it's fairly consistent in size, um, feels very consistent. So, as I said earlier, it's an acceptable trade-off to me. About 20,000. This test is with the plastic washer. Test number two without plastic washer. Test number three, this is with the plastic washer. Test number four, without the plastic washer. There was a concern, and I knew there would be, that the plastic washer would introduce some run out into the chuck, and clearly it does. I think the, uh, the best test, I, I did each one twice, and incidentally, the very first test I did with the plastic washer was after I had been um, turning a chisel handle, so the lathe had been running for some time and it hadn't been cleaned or anything, and that had the most run out. Uh, the final two tests where I had taken it off and cleaned it multiple times, they were uh, very close. Without the plastic washer, there was about 13 thousandths run out. And with the plastic washer, there was about 15 thousandths run out. 
So you're looking at about a two thousandths run out or half the thickness of a sheet of standard copy paper. So for a woodworking lathe, that's acceptable to me. You have to decide what's acceptable to you, but I, I think it's perfectly fine. I mean, it's it's very, very minute amount that you're not going to notice on any kind of wood turning project. But again, you know, each person is going to have to decide for themselves what is acceptable to you. Um, for me, the two thousandths amount of run out is a worthwhile trade in that the plastic washer helps prevent the chuck from seizing up so tightly on those threads and most of the time I can just simply break it loose and remove it by hand. So, worth it to me? Is it worth it to you? You have to decide that for yourself. Thanks. <laughs>